guess I'll try again today to pick up the shoe, which wasn't there last time for whatever reason. This one's basically, I can feel like the rocks and stuff almost digging right in now it's that worn out. I guess today everyone here got like an alarm clock early morning. It was so loud, like the thunders. Like this one says there is a threat of thunderstorms all day in Vancouver today. Doesn't look like it's continuing, obviously. Although it's, I'm surprised there's not like floodings or something like that somewhere. It was just that loud and crazy with the rain and all. What did I read today? Apparently, I believe in India, it says they're releasing potentially some regulations where drone manufacturers have to abide to, I guess, certain things in order to be able to sell them or use them. It says, government issues draft rules for manufacturing using drones. The Civil Aviation Ministry on Friday issued draft rules for making and using drones in the country, proposing that an unauthorized manufacturer or importer can sell its devices only to an individual or entity approved by the aviation regulator DGCA. The draft rules have been issued at a time when the use of drones has increased due to the coronavirus lockdown for the purposes like surveillance, disinfection, and videography. The draft said the DGCA will have the powers to inspect a UAS manufacturing or maintenance facility before granting an authorization under these new rules. I guess there they're being strict with things like the license and stuff too. It says no UAS shall operate in India unless there is existence a valid third party insurance policy to cover the liability that may arise on an account of a mishap involving such UAS. It does note here too though, it says only nano class drones which are less than 250 grams will be allowed to operate in India in general. The draft rule stated, adding that only a quote qualified remote pilot will be permitted to operate heavier drones. Fortunately, that didn't happen here. I still remember like with that insurance thing where some people were saying it should be a requirement and the suggestion was, well, even though there isn't anything in place yet, we'll just throw it out there and let the market decide it. That's what they actually said in the meeting. That's horrible. Giving like, I guess, a commercial business like that complete control with no real guideline restrictions or anything like that. That would be the only concern with things like regulations and stuff. Like obviously, first, do they make sense? And two, are they actually ready to implement it in a practical way as opposed to just throwing something out there and saying, oh, we'll let the market decide as if everything is like commercialized. And I thought with drone manufacturers and I guess the hardware, a lot of times people often say, hey, they saw a drone when in reality it was just like a bird or something like that. How about this one? This one says, the invisible drone unmanned aircraft that has chameleon camouflage takes to the skies. A Katowice based company has developed a drone that can disappear into thin air thanks to cutting edge technology. Despite sounding like some far fetched sci fi production, the drone, named Prometheus, is already operational, sporting its dispersion shields that allow it to blend into its surroundings. That does sound very sci fi. It says, developed by Spartax, a firm specializing in the design of unmanned aircraft and 3D printed out of synthetic semi transparent material. Prometheus possesses light dispersing qualities, which enable it to assume the color of incident rays. This gives it chameleon like camouflage system that allows it to remain almost invisible from all angles. And as they say here, it says, quote, the drone disappearing is truly a confusing sight, says Spartax CEO and general constructor, Slawamir Hozala. As it ascends, it gradually blends in with the surroundings. It literally becomes one with the atmosphere. And from what I gather, some comments were like, well, who needs this? And they're saying a lot of law enforcement would be really interested in it. I would imagine like a recreational person would be interested in it too at times because again, many times when people see like the drone in general, even though people are doing nothing wrong, they'll immediately freak out. Or would people there just assume the worst and say, heck no, that's basically can be used for spying and all that. Although at the same time, I guess technically in a lot of places, if you were like a recreational person or whatever, or even commercial, it'd be illegal to fly this because if you truly can't see it in every angle, then that would probably go against all the current visual line of sight regulations and all that. So I don't see how you get around that unless everyone's going to start wearing things like what thermal camera sunglasses or something like that. Then you could argue, well, that's what not unaided visual sight and all that. I think for myself, as a recreational person, I'd rather just have something that reduces the noise because that's usually one of the complaints too, right? And many times when you're capturing stuff for fun, people don't even notice it like in general. It's not until they actually, I guess, see someone maybe like with a controller, then they'll say, what, there's a drone in the air?
See you guys later.